Uh, just moving right along though, hold down control shift, and we've talked about visibility, and we talked about clipping. Crease curve is an interesting one. Um, you can kind of drag that out, uh, hold down control shift, and that'll actually put in a crease line. Um, so if you hold down control shift and double tap here, now we've got a crease line in here. So you can, um, it's mostly useful when you get in the hard edge stuff. If I do, let me try doing this, polish by features. Ignore ignore most of this. So when you do polish by features, you can kind of use crease lines to kind of do interesting things. Uh, but we're not there yet. So I'm actually going to ignore what I just did. You don't need to know that yet. Uh, we're going to skip crease curve. This we talked about. So now we're getting into slicing. So the difference between slicing and clipping uh, is is like this. So slice curve is basically just a polygroup slicing. So when we when I did that insert mesh, which you guys don't know about yet, it gave me a polygroup and hit Control W, which is group mask clear mask. Unless you don't have anything masked, in which case it will just group whatever is visible on your screen. Uh, if I hold down Control Shift and drag out a line, I get the same thing. It's a gradient and it's a line. You can hold you can Alt Tap Bezier double Alt Tap to get a sharp. And when I let go, it basically sliced this object and it did slice it. It actually sliced through faces and added edges where it needed to to make it triangles and gave you a nice clean line. Now when we get to um, doing hard edge stuff this comes in handy quite a bit. Uh, but you can slice polygroups and you can do lines here, you can do more lines if you want to and we get into um, oh what's it called? Let's find it. Uh, I totally forget my brain is mush right now. Edge loop uh, panel loops. When you get into panel loops, this will come in handy as well. Uh, so you can use this to slice your mesh up and get really, really precise, clean slices in your mesh, as well as new polygroups. Uh, so you can use that to your advantage. If I hit Control W, I still have my mesh sliced, but it's all one polygroup. And if I Control Drag to redyna mesh, it'll completely get rid of them. So you can use that to your advantage as well when we get into that later on. As well as when we get into that kind of stuff, we'll be doing dyna mesh and using this groups option. But we're not there yet. So. We've sliced, you can do slice rectangle if you want to do rectangle slices. And probably same thing for circle. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a slice, oh there it is, slice circle. If it, if, if it didn't have a slice circle, all you would have to do is do like slice rectangle and change this from a rectangle, cir circle, rectangle to a circle. And it doesn't look like there's a slice lasso, but you can just change it to a lasso and then control shift and now you've got a slice lasso. So. That's still available to you. Don't don't get don't fret because it's not there. 